Well, for me, guys, I uh, I want to bring up the match that stood out the most for me, man, is that main event, bro, with Devin. And uh, I just can't yeah. believe where he's at. Like, it is just nuts, bro. Anybody you put him in front of, he's just, like, making easy work of it. And now we, we just did this with Dennis Aplankov, who is one of the, the best arm wrestlers to ever live. And, uh, I mean, he just went through him. But I got to say, I, I think Dennis definitely needed a couple more matches before this. I mean, I just think Devin's just on a whole nother level. And after seeing this match, I truly want to see the rematch of him and LeVon. Because, you know, before that, I kind of was like swaying back and forth. And I'm like, yo, I really want to see Dennis versus LeVon. You know, so I was kind of like, I, I was always rooting for Devin. But I was like, you know, also like, you know, wouldn't be that bad if Dennis won. And we finally get to see Dennis versus LeVon. But seeing the level that Devin is at right now, he, he deserves that rematch. What's your guys' thoughts on that? Um, well, I, I was I was a little bit uh, in the end upset about this match. Like, yeah, it was same like you said. I I believe Dennis like needs like couple matches before because it was like long long rest for him, like four years almost, right or five. I don't know. So only was drawn and next day and it was a little bit it's too forced, you know. Yeah, if he would do like maybe in a six months or maybe a year would be like better. But again, nobody you know, push him to sign any contract. So in the end, it's all clear, you know. But I was like a little bit upset of the performance, you know. Adam, what's your thoughts, bro? Man, I, I just, the more I watch Devin, and, and Devin is great in all areas of arm wrestling. And and to be honest, I, I was never, I mean, Devin was somebody I was having a hard time getting behind a long time ago, but he, he is so good at the psychological warfare portion of the game. And I think that's where people truly underestimate him. I mean, his arm wrestling abilities are, are second to none. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, what he does that's truly better than anybody else is that psychological factor, in, in my opinion. And his just ability to pick apart his opponent days, weeks before the match. I mean, I don't know if y'all noticed – that crowd was going crazy for Devin yesterday. I mean, they were just like you could feel the energy just from watching it, being in that room, everybody supporting Dennis and the pre or I'm sorry, Devin and the pressure on 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 Dennis as a result. I mean, it, it he he tr I mean he truly wins the match before they even step on the table. And oh, that's yeah. what that's what's amazing. And you know, really like the wow factor for me when watching Devin Larrick compete, you know, is that ability for him to uh, just really get in the head of his opponent. I mean, I, I was, I'm, I'm not really a guy that likes to talk trash or, or it's hard for me to get behind that. But the more I realized, I'm like, okay, he, he's not really talking trash. That's not his, that's not, that's not what he's doing. And he's not I really. I mean, some, some Russians like says he crossed the line. I'm not gonna, you know, discuss about it, but they right. what they thought about it, you know, a lot of like they think he was crossing some lines, like you know. Yeah, but I but I think that's his whole, I think that's his whole strategy. I don't think he's, I don't think he's talking, I don't think he's talking trash. I don't think he's, you know, I don't think he's trying to put on a show. I I think it's his actual strategy to pick apart an opponent. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I gotta agree with you, Adam. I, I, I think I really it's all think calculated. And, and and you know what? He's a he's a mastermind at it. He's a mastermind. He he has he has everybody in that building supporting him and rooting for him and on his side for Oh, he know, deserves this from Lemon. <laughs> you know, it's it's amazing. I mean, and, and granted, I mean his he, he is you're right, he is getting stronger at, you know, every day and he's it seems like every time he steps on that table, he, you know, he improves. Uh, so I don't want to take, yeah, I'm not trying to say yeah. ability, but yeah, it's just to me that psychological factors, which truly makes Devin Laird, Devin Laird. Andre, yeah, do you believe that it was going side. overboard though? Like, like I want to, I want to hear personally from you, like what's your personal thoughts? Did he go overboard? Um, I don't think so. Personally not. 
Yeah, because there's there's nothing. I I don't see anything that was like a standout where like, all right, bro, you crossed the line. It was too much. What I see, and he, and I mean, he pretty much said it in his uh his speech after the match. He said the second he signs yeah, that exactly. contract, the match begins. And I right. think that's the smartest thing ever, bro. You're 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 constantly in your your enemy's head. And the whole time, every second of that, Dennis is on the defense defending himself and, and Devin is attacking him. It's kind of like Conor McGregor, man, what Conor McGregor did in UFC, bro. It's the same kind of style. It's like right. doing it in arm wrestling. And, yo, you could like it or not, it's working, bro. Exactly. It's very good for sport because, you know, it's hype. This is like makes, you know, like much more, you know, interesting. Yeah. And I got to say, hearing Adam getting behind him, and I, I could see Adam, you're, you're more of a conservative guy. I, you're, you're very humble, and uh, you let your actions speak on the table. So hearing you saying how you like it, and you're you're starting to get behind it, that says a lot too, man. Because uh, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought you would have liked that, but you're realizing it's working, man. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I like I said, at first, it's not all I'm saying is, is it, it's not what it appears to be to the eye, you know, when I first saw it, and I, you know, cause if you look at Devin, I mean, I'm, I, I've talked to Devin a lot in person and he's a really, li- he's a really likable guy. I mean, he's a super nice guy. He treats everybody respectfully. And then you see this, like almost this different guy, you know, in videos and on the table and in press conferences. And you're like, man, what the heck? And then, I mean, even watching Devin 10, 20 years ago, he, he wasn't that guy. You know, he didn't talk the talk like that and, and, and play that game, that, that psychological game that he plays now. So, you know, the more I watch him and the more I spend time around him and come to realize, I'm like, okay, he's, he's really not talking. This isn't what it appears to be. It's actually a true mastermind of psychological warfare. And you got to respect him for it. You got yeah. to. I Whether you like agree. it or not. I mean, I, it's not something I would do or that I'm capable of. I'll just put it that way. Yeah. Um, but he, he's – He's, he's great at it. He's a tactician. And I, I mean, it makes me want to watch him do it more and more and more. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing the way he, the way he's able to the same with Hermes. Hermes also was like lost before the match. What was my like opinion? <laughs> when Hermes walked onto the stage against Devin, he looked so out of it. It was the first time exactly. I've ever seen, I've, I've never yeah. seen Hermes come calm and like, kind of like confused looking. Usually he comes in like a barbarian. You've seen something was yeah. not right. It was not the exactly. normal Hermes. And I think when I talked yeah. to Devin in person, Devin told me, he goes, bro, I beat him the night before. He's like, I was so nice to him leading up to it. And I was always gassing him up and saying how good he was. And he goes, the night before I was in a bad mood and I just brought it to him. And he goes, I watched his face. He's like, you know, he's too young. He, he's not ready for it. He didn't have the experience. He couldn't handle it. And he's like, I beat him that night before. And I was really surprised. So uh, yeah, bro, he, he is a master. 